M0FXP, welcome to my channel, Hamsphere, and as it says here, Amateur Radio Software Transceiver. This is a virtual system that has had years of evolution and I think is pretty cool and you do not need to have a license to use this system. And it's very hard to describe this system in one video because there's so much to it. But what you're seeing now is the actual tr base transceiver that you get when you first uh, prescribe to this system. I'll show you the transceiver that I've got, which is this one here. It covers bands from 160 meters to 70 centimeters. They actually have repeaters, propagation, all the same conditions that you would expect from amateur radio. Are uh, There is a virtual world. I've just purchased this is a modular system, so all these squares that you're seeing within this transceiver can be moved around. You can add modules, and I purchased this waterfall one here at the bottom. If I click that and I turn it out, I think we can hear CW. Now, you, I don't think you can tell the difference between this and the real world. It's that good, and propagation is based on real propagation. It's not randomly chosen. It's actually real. So I. If you're interested in amateur radio and thinking about one day getting a license, this is going to get you completely ready before you have to take your license. I'll just read some of the features. Now we're on the version 5 here, server 5, and I've downloaded it, and it downloaded in a couple of seconds. You can also download it on your mobile phone, and this system works on everything. Linux, Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, you name it, it's all there. I'm I'm brand new to this system. I've been speaking to Rob on the on the two meter section. So if you click two meters here, just need to. Uh, it looks like he wants me to create an account. Let me just log in. Two meters here, and if I tune to one four five five hundred yesterday, and I caught. And if Rob's there, the PTT is here, and you can buy a big PTT if you want. If Rob's there, he will reply to me, and, and his audio will be perfect. Yes, it's a VOIP system isn't everything these days but the audio is perfect a very round deep audio and all the usual radio controls that you can see here volume power mic gain rf gain box gain you've got contest here that's your main window event calendar clusters so you have clusters live competitions there's shop info there and there's a link there to the manual and for some reason they've even got chess propagation dx chat you know, the experience you're going to get is virtually no, no different. And there's your manual there, which I need to read because I'm brand new to this. VFO, signal, power, ALC, band scope, LCD display, filter panel, pa <laughs> panel. Um, and then let's go back to main. You've got this window looks like it's become DX spot window. Send and receive. And sometimes the conditions in your area will be poor, so you won't be able to get as many good contacts, or you might need to upgrade your antenna in the shop. And there's actually a second-hand shop. This is a shop here, but we'll go to plugins, have a look at some plugins. Uh, click all purpose. So a plugin has value, and you can sell it. I've got this one here, looks quite cool, DR2. And it, on what it does, propagation prediction module, and it's two euros. The way it works is you buy, you buy the uh, sort of the Hamsphere money in euros, and you add that, you know. So then you can just buy things whenever you want them without having to go through the paying procedure. On the right hand side, you can design your own transceiver because they have skins. Let's go back one there. See the skins on the right. So it's a real toy. I don't think it's expensive. I mean, the yearly subscription that I paid for was 32 euros, about 28 pounds for a whole year. Uh, but look at the work they've put into this. And I'm just touching the surface here. Featured here. Chess, gold plate skin. And I've listened to people chatting and the, the users take this, you know, seriously, but they're having fun at the same time. You know, it's... it's it's a hobby for enjoyment. Let's click top sellers. Ah, oh, here's the money. So if I just say decided to buy 20, 
then that's going to mean that whenever I see something come up good value in the second hand section and I think I will be buying a couple of bits today um, the money's already there and, and as you know you can sell things so the best seller is just buying the cash and then looking down here mini statistics so is the uh, longitude and latitude you can look up individual users world map pretty cool and then people customize and design their own transceiver so if we click back to the transceiver this is my transceiver here if we log out of my transceiver we can log back in and log into the, what they call the editor section and in the editor section if we log in here then instead of going to transceiver to see your normal transceiver click editor and then OK so it looks to me like on the left here are a list of things you could buy and I had the waterfall there but I've already purchased it and you can see that it's here and I can at the moment I can move it around and when I save it, it you know it will uh, it will stay if I put it here it's gonna stay there so wherever you leave it but you can change it you can select your microphone or your speaker so that's my TV monitor this is my microphone I'm using Yeti so it's perfect audio you can see the bandwidth this is all your antennas I just left it default it says here IDC vertical I'm not sure how many I can use without having to buy more but there's a long list there your modes on the right hand side plus channel up and down USB you you can purchase a rotator you can face the countries that you want to get you know better propagation better contacts so they've definitely put a lot into this now if we go to get more plugins and I put one in my cart I'm gonna have to remove that because um, shopping cart because I haven't added the money so if I remove for now then go back to top sellers I'll buy myself £10 worth of credits, so I'll click that, and then I'll pause while I purchase that. So I've done that. Now you'll say, well, why waste money on this virtual software? Because it's great fun. When I'm using it, I don't feel any different than when I'm using the my other ham gear, and this is about enjoyment. And you know, if you go and spend £20 on McDonald's, you know, you're just enjoying yourself. So let's find some plugins that I like. If we go to the second hand shop again and choose a couple that I liked. So I did like the PTT, if that's still there. Can't seem to see it now. So yeah, they're selling like hotcakes, you see. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. I'll have a I'll find it and pause a minute. So there's the PTT. So we're going to go add to basket, that's two euros. And the other one I liked was, go look back to number one, that big map. I liked that sort of prop, that prediction map of the propagation looked quite cool and not too expensive. That was this one here. So we add it to basket and then we go to the thing and check out my four euros and then we can just continue confirm order and I just tick the two boxes continue hopefully that's in there now now we go back to my transceiver now is it in there or do I have to um reload it so we're going to save and exit and then we're going to go back in and see if those items are, are listed uh, we need to go to editor so let's go to editor if, if not i'll have to reboot the whole thing yeah there you are two things listed so we just click them there's my oh better not transmit my ptt just want to move it here and the other thing that was that propagation map that looks very nice now I haven't worked out how to resize things if there is a way someone please tell me and then where would I like that to show We're moving things around P 
PTT. Right, we're just going to save and exit for now. Save the assembly. So that means my radio, if I click transceiver now, click OK. You can hear that. There's my transceiver. Let's click some of this activity. Fifty megahertz. Oh, am I in the right mode? Not really sure. Yeah, lots to learn. 40 meters. Only goes to 7099, not sure about that. Let's go to 20. Now, apparently, in the instruction manual, there's actually repeaters, so I need to learn about that. Can we go to these DX spots? Power channel. Well, that's enough for now. More to learn later. Seven three. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.